Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Today's in, uh, act of insanity is uh, the pogo sticks cage needs to be cleaned and it doesn't really uh, take very well to that. You know, pogo sticks are uh, naturally uh, insane and very difficult to work with. Um, you know, I think. Uh, let the camera roll. I have to go next door because I think Bob brought the, uh, the popcorn cobras and such, and that makes uh, life difficult. Hey, girly, I know you. The last time I had you out, it wasn't a pleasant experience for either one of us because. As I was saying before she went ballistic, is uh, she had a, a bad experience the last time I put her in the can because uh, I gave her a couple of injections of antibiotics, so naturally she now equates the can with uh, uh, something rather painful. Uh, she'll calm down and, and relax and meanwhile I'll change the light in the cage and uh, and clean it out and such. Okay, so your Pogo, uh, Miss Pogo stick is ready to go uh, uh, back and potentially she can come shooting out of there like a rocket. So we'll be ready for that, just like that. Come on, girly. Up, 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 up. No, no, not that far up. Go that way. Go in your cage. Come on. Well, it's good. Her tail isn't wagging. Okay, we'll let her settle down. Uh, what I'm doing, folks, now is I am cleaning the uplex uh, because I'm going to use it. I used it on the uh, pogo stick, and the pogo stick had a known respiratory problem, probably uh, a mycoplasm or a chlamydia, most likely a chlamydia, which seems to be fairly common in collections now. Um, so I'm just disinfecting it with uh, the VC-10 hospital disinfectant, which is a quaternary pneumo uh, pneumonia, uh, ammonia, uh, which gets uh, uh, a lot of the uh, organisms quite effectively. 
so continuing with the insanity, uh, we're going to attempt to get the uh, female Eastern Brown out so we can clean her cage. Hello, girl. Easy, Pogo. I'm not working with you now. You're okay. You're in your cage for a while. No one's going to bother you. Now, the whole idea is never to goose any snake, but uh, certainly goosing an eastern brown uh, will make her move fairly fast. So we'll try to do this without her doing so. Come on, girly. I know this is uh, scary. Believe me, it's scary for me, too. catch up from after slinging her onto my body. Uh, that's a bit uh, frightening. Okay, now I'm going to wait a second, okay, until she goes down so I don't crush anybody's little pointy end in there. <laughs> uh, the Parviaku is looking like, no, no, not her! Crazy snakes. Okay, so... We will uh, go ahead and uh, clean her cage. And then maybe give her a snack, i.e. the uh, young male. Okay. Cage is uh, clean and all uh, set up. Uh, time to get uh, the girl back in there. Sometimes. They can even cooperate and uh, just put on a, the gloves and uh, just uh, uh, just tip the cage and let them sort of go in self-directed. Okay, girly. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. Relax. Relax. Come on. Good girl. Here you go. They go back into her cage much easier generally than they come out. There. Yeah, I know that was scary, huh? <laughs> Just think how it was for me. <laughs> well, hi, how you doing? Would you like something to eat, huh? Would you like something to eat? Come on. Here. There you go. Ah, that's a good girl. There you go. There you go. You got it? You got it? You go get another one. These are still very skittish. Here you go. Here you go. See how, see how quick they are to get their head out of Dodge? 
Oh, a glancing strike. I would much rather that you take it. That way I know you're going to eat it. Come on. It's already dead. I know, you just want to make sure. Oh, come on. Come on, have I ever, uh, do I ever hand anybody a rat in the wrong position to eat? Uh-oh. Why do they have to go after something the other one has? Huh? No, we're not doing that. Hey, behave yourself. That one's not yours. Ooh, this is tricky. Here. That one's yours, huh? There you go. You got it. Come on. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. I know it's a heavy one. I know it's a heavy one. You got it? Here. Here. Come on. There you go. That's a good job, huh? There you go. You dropped it again, huh? You think that's too big for you, huh? Is that what the problem is, huh? Okay. Where are you? There uh, you go. There you go. All right. Up, oh, up. Oh. It's a heavy one. Let's put it right up there in the crotch of the tree, and we'll get you all set. We'll get you all set. These western green mambas don't often uh, figure in a lot of bites in Africa, you know, because they're very skittish, shy snakes, and they live in the, in the trees. Uh, so people aren't really bumping into them unless they're climbing trees. There you go. Very, very skittish characters. Alright, we're just going to let them eat.